Hey, what's up, everybody? This is your keto chef, Rob. A steak roulade. That's what we're making today. It's just a fancy way of saying we're wrapping up some food and we're going to eat it. That's it. A roulade can be many things. It can be a dessert. It can be a hors d'oeuvre. It can be an entree. Today, we're making an entree by sous vide some asparagus, cooking it in the sous vide there, and then grilling the steak, which wraps it up on the grill out there. And it's going to be amazing. We're going to cut it into thin little slices. It's going to be pretty and delicious. And also, nutritious. So without further ado, let's jump right into it and let's do it. So asparagus is going to be the center of our roulade. We're throw it in a bag and I use the same thing when I sous vide pretty much anything. I'm usually using an oil or fat of some type, garlics and herbs, salt and pepper. Pretty much any fresh herbs work here. And if you don't have a sous vide, you can use one of these and just get the water hot, not boiling for about 15 minutes and you should be good. But if you have a sous vide like me, then go ahead and put it in for 12 minutes at 182 degrees Fahrenheit. And while that's going, we can go ahead and prepare our steak. And I bought this super thin, lean steak. You want lean, less fat, the better because you want it to hold together. We're gonna salt just one side. And we're only doing one side because the side that we salt is gonna be the one that faces the heat. And we wanna draw moisture out so it gets nice and crispy while the inside stays moist. I would make sure you use a good salt like kosher salt or sea salt. While the salt does this thing, we're gonna get our mashed potatoes going. By mashed potatoes, of course, I mean cauliflower mashed potatoes. And we're gonna be doing something really tasty here. And we're gonna be using the juice or the au jus from the sous vide bag. And we're gonna be using a few pieces of asparagus. And that is what we're gonna to use to steam our cauliflower. Bonnet, as soon as you can break it up with a fork, it's done. So we're gonna flip that upside down. Now, I'm putting cheese in here because cheese is delicious, but if you're dairy free, obviously you can just go with the straight up asparagus. And at this point, our cauliflower is done. If you want to mash it up, I like a blender and man, it made it buttery smooth. Okay, now we just got to roll up the steak. We're going to fold in the sides, flip the back flap up and over, tuck, pull back, and just let it sit on the cutting board. Just let it sit on the cutting board. Just let it sit on the cutting Just let it sit on the cutting Just let it sit on the cutting Just let it sit. First thing we have to do is we have to make the tortilla. Flip the back flap up and over. Give a tuck and a pull back to you and then roll and just let it sit on the cutting board for a second. So same thing as a burrito recipe, but we're gonna use toothpicks to hold these together. And it's time to throw it on the grill. You wanna get your grill so hot that you can't keep your hand above it one inch for more than one second. And we're just doing a quick sear. Remember, our steak is super thin. I like to put butter on it while it rests. Rest your steak, and let me tell you, I promise you it makes a world of difference when you go to cut it up. Rest your steak, throw some butter on it. It's amazing, trust me. And there we go, it's time to plate it up. I've got some cauliflower asparagus puree. I've got a nice, beautiful, vibrant green bed for our beautiful steak roulade. And let me tell you, it tastes as good as it looks. Subscribe guys, and as always, share the video with someone you know that would love it. Keep it keto, stay healthy y'all, peace.